Welcome aboard Popular Cruising. You're watching our review of the Crystal Serenity from Crystal Cruises. The luxury experience begins with the plush cabins, where unlike on other all suite and all veranda luxury liners, introductory deluxe staterooms with windows make the luxury cruise experience more affordable. Even here, all the Crystal Cruises touches are present, like his and her sinks, premium toiletries, and a phone in the bathroom. The shower tub combos are also nicely outfitted. Another fantastic feature available on board are pure staterooms with verandas. These hypoallergenic cabins are perfect for passengers who are prone to suffering from allergies and like to retreat to some fresh air. Of course, upgrading to a penthouse brings more perks, like even more spacious accommodations and personal butler service. And the full couch and chair around the table are perfect for dining in your room, where you can enjoy meals from any restaurant on board. And the expansive veranda with premium teak decking is wonderful for taking in those sea breezes. Another welcome space is the full walk-in closet where there's plenty of room to store all your clothes. And the bathroom, featuring a jacuzzi tub, is even more sublime. Past the dual sink basins is a whole other separate shower that is perfectly sized for full mobility. And above the toilet is your treasure trove of premium toiletries. You can even listen to the audio from your television or make a phone call from here. Convenient electronics are everywhere, including custom soft lighting with a wide variety of levels to choose from. Accommodations step up yet again with a penthouse suite with veranda. Including a full living room and separate bedroom. The interior design is truly a masterpiece and extends once again to a breathtaking bathroom. While not illustrated here, the crystal penthouse with veranda is even more palacious. Regardless of your chosen accommodations, the rest of the ship and our activities are available to everyone. With the elegant Crystal Plaza setting the scene. Where you begin to understand why Serenity is a perfect name for this ship. Here is a course where you'll find guest relations if you need assistance with anything on board. And just above is Avenue of the Stars. The ship's set of high-end shops for clothing and other items to help with all your retail therapy. Next door is the clean Crystal Casino. Clean in its layout, but also clean in particular because it is entirely non-smoking. To which we say, bravo! It really is nice to see it go hand in hand with the pure staterooms on board. The Hollywood Theater has a wonderful exterior lobby with backlit posters from classic movies. And inside there are plenty of seats, although the screen size itself is rather small. Still, the selection of movies was quite diverse. And for those who wish to dance the nights away, the Pulse Nightclub invites you. Here's also where Magic Castle at Sea performs astounding close-up magic acts. And the photo gallery is where you can pick up the images of all the memories you've made. Or also arranged for professional portrait sittings. That as a photographer myself, I must say we're more creative than most. The library on board is no joke. Not only is there an amazing selection of books to check out, but there's also a long list of Blu-rays to freely rent to enjoy high-definition movies back in your room. Crystal Cruises offers a great set of enrichment programs on board. In the studio, passengers can learn anything from filmmaking to piano playing. 
And for classic gameplay, the Bridge Lounge is the perfect place to be. The Computer University at Sea features Apple computers for learning Mac apps. But some machines also run Windows for those more comfortable with that particular system. A dying feature on other ships is the Crystal Serenity's full wraparound promenade deck, which even on a rainy day is great for almost completely unobstructed views. And at the back of the ship, you can try your hand at a match of table tennis or brush up on your golf game at the driving nets or the putting green. For regular tennis, Wimbledon Court offers two full-sized areas. And it's always nice to see a pool deck completely clad in handsome teak wood, accented by Crystal's signature seahorses. For being a smaller facility than on mega ships, the Crystal Spawn Salon sure does offer a wide variety of services, with plenty of room to ease about when getting your hair done or working out. Luxury cruise lines aren't particularly known for their kids' programs, but at least Fantasia and Waves offer some facilities for kids and teens, respectively. Across the way is the relaxing Palm Court, a spacious observation lounge, complete with bar and expansive dance floor. And of course its signature palm trees and skylights. As you would expect, dining is another area where Crystal excels. The Crystal Cove is a welcoming bar inside the atrium, where on select sailings you'll also find the Grand Gala Buffet. With its spectacular selection, and artful food creations. The spread is seemingly never-ending, and the flavors are just as satisfying. Perhaps the highlight, however, is the all-you-can-eat lobster tail. The Crystal Dining Room is the main restaurant on board, where both traditional and modern cuisine is cleverly featured nightly with fine service that matches the fine dining, such as a tempting crab meat tower, savory seafood paella, classic beef wellington, and sweet chocolate pot de creme. For drinks before or after dinner, Avenue Saloon is a great hangout, filled with rich nautical theming. And for those who do smoke, the Connoisseur Club is a lovely extension of the theme next door. Midday snackers will love the bistro, with great treats to go along with your coffee or tea. And if you head up to the Palm Court, you can enjoy the high tea experience. For breakfast and lunch buffets, the Lido Cafe has you covered, with a tasty variety that can be enjoyed outside at the serene living wall patio. The area is additionally serviced by the Trident Bar and Grill, where juicy cheeseburgers are on the menu, as is complimentary Ben and Jerry's ice cream at the Scoops Ice Cream Bar, and pizza for lunch at Tastes, where tapas-style dishes are served in the evenings, like California street tacos, fried chicken and waffles, and mouth-watering chimichurri steak. Believe it or not, the food gets even better at Prego. The included Italian specialty restaurant is one of the best at sea, with expertly prepared dishes such as carpaccio of black Angus beef, thick sliced insalata caprese, every variety of pasta including pesto, and the best osobuco I have ever had finished off with a refreshing pomegranate dessert. Switching countries, the sushi bar on Silk Road offer fantastic Asian cuisine from celebrity chef Nobu in a restaurant setting with more modern decor. The dishes here are also some of the best, like signature sushi rolls, creative Nobu-style tacos, and salads elegantly presented spring rolls, 
and the Noble Box Sampler of Rock Shrimp Cod and Beef, with a trio of creme brulees to finish. Still, the pinnacle of dining is had in the Vintage Room, where during our craft brew theme cruise we enjoyed dates, cherries, and beignets ahead of decadent truffled egg with caviar, an Asian scallop and crab bake in shell, incredible seared beef with pickled pears, and a mixed berry pavlova, all paired with the finest beers. Entertainment on board is also top notch. Smaller cabaret acts are featured in the Stardust Club, itself quite a snazzy venue. And for our Crystal Wine and Food Festival sailing, the beer was flowing for expert tastings and entertaining lectures. The Galaxy Lounge is where you'll find the ship's main production shows, where the smaller scale is overcome by phenomenal singers and dancers in world-class performances, like the brand new My Life, the music of Billy Joel, starring Broadway's James Fox, which actually premiered on board our cruise. Numbers range from selections from Thoroughly Modern Millie to Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band from the Beatles. And of course there's plenty of good old-fashioned cabaret and music from an excellent live orchestra. What stands out most though are the fantastic featured vocalists. That and of course the high energy of James Fox. But really the best of the best was I Illuminates The Tourist in what was one of the coolest shows on any cruise ship, performed in total darkness and lit only by the performer's electronic costumes. The show is undeniably impressive, as is the Crystal Serenity as a whole. Thanks for watching our review. Please feel free to subscribe to our channel, check out our other Crystal Serenity videos, and visit popularcruising.com.